We are now in the home stretch to the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker with only 48 days to go until the release of this movie by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, I myself will admit, by far, the big exciting element of Episode 9 has got to be the return of Palpatine, the return of Luke Skywalker, and how both Rey and Kylo Ren are going to interact with each other on the big screen. That's what I'm really looking forward to the most in this film, and to see exactly how it's all going to be utilized in the story, visually speaking, on the big screen by J.J. Abrams. And I'm sure that, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into this to the point where J.J. Abrams is getting very stressed due to all the reshoots and the adjustments of the second and the third acts of the movie that took place during the months of August, September, and of course October. Now we are in the month of November where they are finally wrapping up the movie and actually entering the final phase of post-production. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intense for Rey, Kylo Ren, and even Luke Skywalker. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that both Rey and Kylo Ren are said to be fighting during their lightsaber duel inside of Palpatine's old throne room within the wreckage of the second Death Star. It's explained that Kylo Ren has the upper hand during the scene where Rey is said to be struggling and losing the battle against Kylo Ren. It's explained that one of the sequences is said to involve a moment in which Kylo Ren is said to force push Rey into Palpatine's throne, where Kylo Ren is then said to throw his crossguard saber at Rey, where she dodges the attack as it hits Palpatine's throne and is stuck in there. This is where Rey is said to grab Anakin's saber and Kylo's and ignites them both and throws them at Kylo Ren. This is where it's said that Luke Skywalker's Forest Ghost makes a surprising appearance by catching both of the sabers in his hands while standing in front of Kylo Ren. It's said that Luke briefly pauses the battle between the two and tries to convince Kylo Ren who the real enemy really is. The sequence is said to involve a moment in which Kylo Ren is not convinced by Luke's Force Ghost, where Kylo begins to shoot Force Lightning at Rey, where just as this happens, Luke's Force Ghost tosses back the Skywalker Saber to Rey, and is said to vanish as Rey blocks the Force Lightning by Kylo Ren, where Kylo Ren's Saber is said to tumble down to another area of the second Death Star, just after Luke vanishes. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we can already see that J.J. Abrams is trying to evolve Force Ghosts and what they are able to do in the Star Wars franchise, as we saw in The Last Jedi, where literally Yoda was able to manipulate the mortal world by creating lightning in the sky, striking the tree library. I want to go over a real symbolic piece here, though, that does match with the leaks that Rey is indeed the granddaughter of Palpatine. Do note that there is a moment in which, of course, Kylo Ren Force pushes Rey into Palpatine's throne, where Rey is literally sitting in Palpatine's throne. That, to me, is by far the most symbolic piece of Rey being related to Palpatine in The Rise of Skywalker, especially during her duel against the grandson of Darth Vader. That's the, actually said to be the moment in which Kylo Ren throws the saber at Rey and it actually stabs through the actual you know, throne of Palpatine in the actual second Death Star. Now, this is said to be a moment in which Luke's Force Ghost intervenes. He actually appears in the middle of their lightsaber duel, just as Rey throws the two sabers at Kylo Ren, attempting to kill him, where Luke stops that from happening. Now, I know a lot of fans out there are going to disagree with that, because as Obi-Wan Kenobi said at one point in time in the original trilogy that I cannot interfere. Here we have Luke Skywalker interfering the battle between both Rey and Kylo Ren on board of the second Death Star, so... We do know that Disney always, you know, has these moments in which it somewhat undoes what was already done in the original trilogy and kind of rewrites everything. Just like Palpatine's death, we all thought that he died at the very end of Return of the Jedi, and now he's alive. A lot of fans seem to have a problem with that, uh, depending on, of course, exactly how it's going to be executed. But from the leaks that we went over is that... Palpatine is said to create a wormhole of some kind and is able to escape the second Death Star to go over to the world of Exegol and hide out over there for 30 plus years. Now, the thing about Episode 9 here 
is that this particular scenario does indeed evolve the character of Luke and what a force ghost is able to do. So Luke is actually able to interfere and literally pause the battle between both Rey and Kylo Ren where Luke is trying to knock some sense into Kylo, you know, telling him that Palpatine really is the true enemy here. You know, why are you two fighting? Let's get right down to it and destroy Palpatine once and for all. But Kylo Ren is not convinced. He's still associated with the dark side at this point in time where once Luke vanishes, Kylo Ren's cross guard is said to tumble down to another section of Palpatine's throne room where Rey is actually now left with a Skywalker saber and Kylo is left with no saber. Most likely this leads to the moment that we talked about where Kylo Ren is going to get stabbed and be brought back to life by Rey's new power where she then leaves him for dead on the second Death Star. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.